All right, so what I'm gonna do is declare this the bullet right here. So we're going to rename this bullet. And I'm gonna put this off to the side. It's right there, so it doesn't it doesn't actually hit the box at all. And I would say maybe shrink it down a little bit. All right, let's start a new code. In this case, this code is so far beyond what we've been covering that we're gonna have to start an actual new code instead of copy and pasting from a new one. And what are you learning here? You know, are you learning how to make a gun? Well, not really. You're learning how to instantiate something. Um, or you can also say you're learning how to use add force. So either or. So because you're using both and they relate back to a gun, I'm just going to label this gun. Okay, I have to declare something. I have to declare a variable. Okay, it's going to be called character bullet. And in this case, we're going to be declaring an object. So, and every object has a transform. So I'm going to use that to my advantage. And this is what it looks like. If I go file, save this out, without any functions or anything written. I got this gun, I have this gun, and I can click and drag this over and look at it has character bullet and I can now have this new transform in here. That means I can take this bullet and click and drag it over and mount it underneath that. Should be able to. There we go, perfect. Okay, so now that that's in there, I can go on with my script. You didn't have to do that. I just wanted to show you the actual why we use transform and how that works. So if I got a game object in play, I can use it within the script now. Anytime I use the word character bullet, it becomes that object. There's other ways to do that too, which we'll show in later lessons. So if... I do something. Well, in this case, I'm going to start using my keyboard and mouse. So input period get button. And I want to push it down. And this is called fire one. Just like that. Something happens here, so I'm just going to write that if statement as an opening and closing bracket. That way I can fill stuff in here. Now, where did I get Fire 1 at? Well, if you look under Unity, I have Project Settings Input. And in here I have Fire 1. And it's already declared to be the mouse, the left mouse button. Okay, So that's where I got that. You can see a few things going on in here. There's a jump. There's a, a lot of sequences already built into Unity. All right, now what happens? Well, I need to declare a variable, and this variable sits inside an if statement, so it's only declared any time that I hit the left mouse button. Other than that, the variable doesn't exist. Vertible bullet equals, and here's this word. Instantiate, and you know you spelled it right if it turns orange. So instantiate, think of that as the same as hitting Command D on the keyboard with an object. It duplicates it, right? It makes an instance of, so. So what's it going to make a copy of? It's going to make a copy of character bullet. Which 
where is it going to make a copy of it? So that is going to be on a game object. And I don't know the name of it, so I'm going to have to go find that game object. Incidentally, if I did know the name of it, I could just type it in there. But I, won't, I don't want to make it that easy for you because that wouldn't be fun. We'll have to use, use Unity to actually find that. So it's called Gunspawn. We made that earlier. Like that. And then period transform period position okay so that's where it's going to land it's going to land at the position of gun spawn okay now this one's a little harder to explain so i'm going to leave it for a later lesson it's called quantir quantirion period i Identity. Okay. I think it become more relevant as we move on with this. All right. In the next video, I want to finish character or scripting this out and then launching my code.